Hey guys, it's Jo and welcome back to my channel. So, one thing I didn't mention in my pain management video was that stretching has been helpful to me. So I wanted to take you guys through a quick stretching routine during the hour of the day that I am not on the couch writhing in pain. Uh, pain has gotten a little bit better. So let's dive into a quick stretching routine and let me walk you through some things that have been helpful for me lately. First of all, I have water nearby, helpful, and something soft to do this on. If you are recovering from amputation surgery like I am, you may be spending a lot of time on the couch uh, with your leg elevated and adjusting to new things like walking on crutches or being in a wheelchair, and so your body is adjusting to a lot of new things and positions, and that can lead to a lot of soreness, tightness, or stiffening up, and so I find stretching really helpful. So here are a few things that I have been doing. The first is legs, so we're gonna start uh, on the ground, and we're gonna stay on the ground because uh, we're not gonna do any stretching standing up. I will reach towards my toes, keep your legs out straight like this, and then as it's comfortable, uh, make sure you don't feel any pain, additional pain in your residual limb, reach out towards your toes. I like to feel a little bit of a stretch kind of through the back of my legs. I find that this sort of loosens up. Um, the muscles there and I feel a little bit of nerve pain relief. I'm not sure if there's science behind that, but it's definitely helped. And as we go through these, make sure that you're breathing pretty deeply, um, just fully in and fully out. The next one is going to be um, this. So I'll bring my good leg, my full leg in like this, and I'll turn my core over my residual limb, and I'll walk my hands out until I feel a stretch through the back of my leg and a little bit through my lower back. Then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Now, it hurts me to put this leg on the ground right now in this position, so I'll honestly just kind of hook it like this and hold it up. That may help you too. So I'll turn my core again over this way, reach out for this foot, and feel a nice stretch through the back of my legs there and through my back. Next, we're gonna transition over to our stomachs, like so. If you spend a lot of time lying down, you'll definitely wanna spend some time lying down on your stomach as well. It helps the recovery of your limb. That is what my doctor told me. And uh, this is also a really nice stretch for your front of your body. So put both of your hands on the ground and slowly push up wherever it's comfortable. Feel a nice stretch through the front of your body. If you can, kind of pull your shoulder blades together and down. Helps protect your neck. And come back down. Now while we're here, I while we're here, I find it helpful to stretch the while we're here, I find it helpful to stretch the front of my calves. <laughs> while we're here, I find it a little bit helpful. Now while we're here, I found it helpful. While we're here, I found it helpful to stretch my quads. I do this really gently by staying here like this and raising my legs as close as I can, like this. Again, until you don't feel, don't wanna feel extra pain in your residual limb, but I feel a nice stretch there. I can reach around, grab my foot, pull it closer, that definitely allows for more of a stretch. You don't wanna feel any pain through your knee. Make sure you're watching out for that. Let's sit back up and move on to arm stretches. So if you are getting used to crutches like I am, or maybe a wheelchair, you'll definitely feel uh, tightness or soreness perhaps in your chest muscles and through your triceps. So let's do a couple quick stretches for that. Um, also shoulders, so let's start there. Um, keeping your shoulder blades together in the back, you want to pull your arm across your body like this. You don't want to like let all of it go and pull your whole body across, if that makes sense. You want to make sure your core stays the same, facing your computer, and pull your arm over.
Then I'll do the same thing with the other arm. Pull it over, make sure I'm not pulling my whole body over. Just get a nice stretch through my shoulder there. Next, we're gonna stretch out our triceps. So we'll do that by taking one arm, bending it behind your head so that your hand goes down your shoulder blades and pull over. So grab onto your elbow and pull over. And I'll do this from the other side too so you can see a little bit more clearly. So it's gonna look like this. So you take one arm up, over, pull over at the top. That way you should feel a nice stretch through your tricep. Next, for our trust stretch, you wanna interlace your fingers behind your back, lock out your elbows, and stretch up into it. You should feel a nice stretch across your chest and even down through your biceps a little bit. All right. Last stretch group. We're gonna work on our neck just a little bit. Um, just be careful with your neck. You definitely don't wanna damage it or um, tighten it anyway. So if anything hurts, do not do it. But here's a couple quick things that you can do. One um, is just to bring your ear to your shoulder. Then we're gonna switch to the other side. Then your chin to your chest. If there's nothing wrong with your neck, you can do some neck circles. One way. And then another. And we'll finish off by just reaching over and stretching out our obliques, which are our sides real quick. One way. And then the other. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and lay back down because I am still recovering and it's not feeling so great right now. Pain is definitely getting, uh, getting worse because I've been up for a little bit. So make sure you take care of yourselves, listen to your body, um, make sure that you're taking care of your new shorter limb, wherever that may be, and I hope recovery is going well for you if you are in recovery. Thank you for watching. I look forward to talking to you soon. I am Joe, and have an awesome rest of your day.